Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, De Bellamente y Tu y Yo. And today we are going to do a budget for the month of April. Please, please don't come for me because y'all know it's already April, what, 10th? We're just getting around to it, but I have a lot to talk about and a lot to explain. So this should be a rather chatty one as we set it up. And yeah, if that sounds like something that interests you, hearing all about what I've been doing before I started my April month today, then let's get right into the video. In comes the budget planner. If you guys see some shadows, it is literally about to start pouring down rain in Atlanta. So yeah, it's just getting darker and darker and darker. And of course I waited to the afternoon to get it done. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, today I'm going to be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner 2nd Edition. I won't have to use the budgeting pages today because we're going to use the monthly pages in this planner in order to set everything up and then talk about the action plan moving forward. So let's get started. First, I have to move Mr. Cal. I love him so much, but we're on to a new month, baby. Come on over here with us. All right, so we're going to be here on the monthly layout for the month of April. And I'll write some information in it in a minute, but let me go ahead and click this because there's a lot to do today. All right, so let's see. Let's talk about where I've been. Let's start there. Of course, if you don't know, I did take my son for spring break to Mexico and I'll try to put some clips towards the end of the video, you guys. We had a pretty adventurous trip. We literally packed it at the last minute, just decided to book a trip to Mexico and backpack it, yeah, on a trip. That's it. We took two backpacks and headed out and made it happen. I booked an Airbnb and it all worked out. Um, everybody was like, be safe. Don't flash your money. I was living smart, but I mean, it was a little bit out there for me because it was super spontaneous trip and it was just me and a 12 year old. But you know what? He's a ride or die, so therefore, we just lived our best life, okay? And we had a great time. By the time we came back, the rain just started. By the time we came back, I had to go to the hospital. It was time for me to start my part-time shift, um, and so, a part-time shift, part-time um, position. And so they called me as I was about to depart into the air. And I was thinking maybe I wouldn't take the part-time position because I, I'm a girl who works on vibes, and I just wasn't getting the right vibes you know, things were going on at work. Like I told you guys, that was pretty like unsafe, but you know, not any fault of the hospital, but I'm just saying patients were getting out of control. And it was right after I agreed to go part-time and I was like, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this. And then it was taking a while for HR to give me a call back. But when you know it, right as I was about to take off into the plane um, to go to Mexico, they called while I was sitting in my seat on the flight. And I told him, hey, I'm about to take off. What do I need? Da, 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 da. And she said, I'll email you this. You just text me back when you land and da, 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 da. And so everything got solidified. Well, I had already signed up for two shifts the very next day after I returned. So I just got done with my two shifts and now it's time to get back in my world, you know? For a minute there, I literally was not feeling like myself. I'm like, wait, wait. I'm a nurse who has to work all these hours? Like, <laughs> what What about my Etsy shop? What about my YouTube memberships? What about my YouTube channel and videos and budgeting? And I haven't stepped any cash. Like, I was literally feeling out of sorts there for a while. But you know what? I'm just gonna relax into it knowing that everything is working out for my good. That's it, okay? So I want you to relax into it with me. Let's go ahead and get off into the April budget. I'm gonna put up here April 24, 2024. April 2024. That's a mouthful today. Okay. Now, I do have some handy dandy stickers. Okay. And I'm pretty good. Oh, wait. I did this last month, didn't I? I didn't write down the days of the month. So, hold on. Okay, I got it together. It says the first started on a, on a Monday. So, I think I'll put the dates over here this time. One. And I'm gonna speed this up. Hashtag did that. Okay, so <laughs> for this month, I'm gonna use the red ones for the bills. And I do wanna reflect on what I had last month so I can keep up with the dates that I 
typically pay them. I mean, they're loosely due around this time. Hold on, where'd I go? I shouldn't have took Mr. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll have to use two pink ones. I'm gonna use four, th six. I'm gonna use six red ones and then I'll use two pink ones. So let's go ahead and do um, the sticker. So on the 11th and the 13th, let's put 11. Uh, let's pay the LLC on the 15th. I got a grace period. And then, oh, I no longer have to pay health insurance. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. <laughs> so we don't need that one. And everything else is at the end of the month, so I can really figure out what I want to do. But I'll start paying, like, I'll pay at and somewhere around the 24th, because that'll be after. I'll pay my mortgage, let's say, on the 29th. Um... The water bill, let's pay it on the 22nd. We're just gonna be some Monday maniacs, ain't we? We paying all the bills on Monday this month. Wait a minute, my water bill, Georgia Power and Stream. Okay. Let's put uh, Georgia Power right here. And we'll put Stream, let's pay Stream early. It's out here, I already know what the amount is anyway. Okay, there we go. So let me just write it all out for you guys real quick. It shouldn't take long. We're going to do Xfinity. Now, Xfinity, I did look up the bill and it is $253. Next is my LLC. And that is $130. Um, what was I going to do here? Stream. And that is 136. Um, do, 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 do. What else? AT&T. We'll put that here. And AT&T is 249. Oh, I didn't put a dollar sign here. All right, and then we have Georgia Power. Oh, I was gonna pay the water there. Let's do water here. And my water bill, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna budget 135. And then um, Georgia Power. And my gas, I mean, my electric bill is going up and it's 103. And then we'll do my mortgage. And that is 910. Things are looking up just because that insurance, health insurance is off this page. You feel me? It's already looking up. Okay, so that's that on all the bills. Now, we need to talk about income, and let's do the blues. Let's do the blues. I'm going to take, um, I'm definitely going to take a check here for Etsy. So, we'll do the Etsy's down on Fridays. I might take one again at the, at, let's do Saturday here because I don't want to put it on top of that. I might take one again at the end of the month, like here, just to close it out, but I might not. So we'll just see how it goes, okay? Um, nursing, I just got paid today. And I'm gonna have to stick, dang, I gotta double it up, huh? Oh, what about here? Can I do it like this? Okay, let's do it that way. Okay. <laughs> and then the other one will be then on the 25th. Maybe I should have turned them all a long ways. What you guys think? You know, I'm new to this sticker game, so y'all gotta help me. But anyway, these are gonna be my nursing checks. I also get, uh, we'll do my social media in a different color. Oh, so Etsy can be dark blue. My nursing's light blue. Um, green will be all of my social media stuff. So we're gonna say YouTube. I'm gonna put it on the 21st, even though I know it's probably not gonna post till then. We're gonna also have one for uh, my book sales, we'll put it here, even though I think it's not going to post to the 29th. And this will also be my Amazon affiliates. Um, is that everything? Wait, Etsy, book sales, YouTube, nursing. Yes, that's it. That's everything. All right, so I do know some of these numbers. I know for sure for YouTube, I will be getting 1503. Thank you to everybody who watches my videos. I say that all the time and I mean it. My book sales, I'm gonna put 1,700. I do put some money away from this, but I'm gonna say 1,700. 
Um, my nursing check I just got today, which is our in pay. That one was 273. And um, I did already go ahead and pay my uh, line of credit out of that check. I didn't pay Xfinity yet though. I cashed out some Etsy that we'll be posting tomorrow and it's very minimal because I was out of town, but that was 316. So I'll be paying that, I'll pay the Xfinity out of that, but we'll talk about that when we do the budgets for it. Um, and I think I'm gonna do these two budgets together since the income's so small. Also, um, let's see, I don't know these next two Etsy, but I will go ahead and put the word there so I'll remember what's supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put the R and pay right here. Okay, so I know this check is going to be hot. It's coming in hot, y'all. Ooh, your girl, I already been working and I'm about to work some more. And so what I'm thinking about doing, honestly, for nursing is just like running it as if it was a travel contract for a while and doing as many hours, you know, there's always overtime and doing what I can so by summer, I can live my best life, which leads into what I'll be doing with a lot of the money. So before we write all this out on a budget page, let me show you the new two new products I'm gonna bring out. Right before I went to um, Mexico, I finally received these orders. I have been waiting for forever to get these binders. These are both the same. I'm just offering them in two separate ways. So I set two up, okay? I'm gonna be using one specifically. So I'm gonna show you that way. Um, and then the other one, I'm not sure. The one that I'm gonna be using looks like this and I'm gonna be using it for a summer travel fund. I think it adds up to like 2,700, I don't know. I picked some numbers that all ended in five. So this is like 15, 25, 35. And I picked this color vinyl because I felt like it went really well with this binder, you know, this rings. I do have $25 here. So if you were to stuff this one, it does go this way and you would stuff it. You could ask for the numbers to be placed down here and turn it this way if you wanted to stuff it, you know, horizontally. But I had my college binder this way, so I just kept it. Um, and so this is what it will look like with the money actually in. And it's gonna be bomb. Cause y'all, I told you I'm about to run it with my nursing job. It's about to get real serious around here. Um, and so <laughs> I should have plenty to fill this up before the summer comes. We'll come with 20 sleeves as well as 20 numbers that you can choose. There should be plenty of room for you to fill up every one of your pockets because you guys know I have the college binder where I do it all the time and the college binder equals up to 5,000. This one's only going to be 2,700 and I'll be stuffing this one like I said as my travel binder. By the way, travel's empty right now. Okay. <laughs> The second way is I made some trackers that go in here and I made them instead of um, horizontal, I made them vertical and they look like this. You can pick whatever numbers you want. They're pretty sturdy. There's nothing on the back. Um, they just slide directly in here. And so for these, you would pick whatever numbers you want, 20 numbers you would give me and I would make these custom trackers. Um, and then if you stuffed it, it will look like, hold on, I have one that said 25. Oh, here. And if you stuffed it in a binder, it would look like this. And that's that. $25 is in that sleeve. And so that one's already completed. And you would just keep going until it got to whatever dollar amount you requested, you know? Um, I am also have one of these that I'm going to be sending to someone. And she is going to be having larger numbers like this but adding up numbers like the seven plus the five to make a total of 12 for this one, or she could stuff 75, you know, so you can kind of play around with the numbers. And the same way goes with the one with the labels. If you had one like 15, you could put $15, but if you didn't have it, you could just put six, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, these binders are gonna be loaded at midnight um, and I'll be selling them a few with the vinyl. I'm not gonna kill myself making vinyl envelopes on a whole bunch of binders. So some with the vinyl and it will be this gold colored vinyl or this yellow hollow, this yellow pink hollow. It will be that color because I don't wanna do a whole bunch of colors and run out. So this is the color that I chose. Um, and if you're not interested in that, then there are the flower trackers that you can use as well. But once they're gone, they're gone. I will have a few that you won't have to have any labels or trackers, but there will be limited supply of just the binder solid by itself, okay? And if you get the binder by itself, it would actually have 20 sleeves as well. All right, that's it for that. So let's now talk about what, how I wanna do the budget for the month, knowing what we know. First and foremost, it is time for another 
quarterly challenge. Your girl's excited, okay? I love these little boxes and coloring them in and all this old stuff. And um, somebody already told me that this adds up, I think, to $153, not $150, because my math wasn't math and when I made it. If you're interested in this planner, it is available for digital download in my Etsy link down below, or you can head over to Amazon, which is also linked down below, and look for this cover, and you'll be able to get one. It comes with a quarterly challenge, so four challenges in involved, as well as monthly budgeting sheets and then um, weekly budgeting sheets. So anywho, let's go ahead and get to what we are going to be doing. I'm not gonna fill in the income just like last time. Um, I'm not even gonna list out the income sources right here because we've already done it on the calendar so we know what that's about. The bills, I will go ahead and list them here. Xfinity, LOC, Stream, ATT, Water, Georgia Power, and then Mortgage. Stream is my gas bill. So if you're wondering about that, that's what that is. Why did I put one dash and now I have to put all the dashes? Okay, so let's get Mr. Calculator and add that up and see what we're working with. 253, 130, 136, 249, 135, 103, and 910. All right, so that's $1,916. I'm not gonna put, of course, whatever's remaining because we don't have the incomes listed here, but I do wanna have this as like a, a basic guideline of what I'm trying to do. Next, let's talk about cash envelopes. Now, last month for cash envelopes, I had some listed in all these areas. Uh, I don't think I'll need everything that I have here because we're already almost halfway through the month and that's crazy. That's absolutely ludicrous, but I will go ahead and write it all down. Self-care, I need 20 for the month. Uh, groceries, gas, Salisa, what else, weekend fun. Dining out. Uh, Stunkin. What the, uh, did I almost forget Stunkin? And nails. But Stunkin is listed under spending. I think it is. Ooh, what do I have it under? Y'all, this little wallet is empty. Let me see. If I got anything in here, it might be a peso. Let me see. Uh, nails, deposit, gas. Spending, yeah, spending. So that's where Stunkin goes. All right, so we're gonna put 20 towards um, self-care for sure. Groceries, there's only really three weeks. I'm gonna put 400, I think we can make that work. Gas, I'm gonna put 75. Myself, I'm gonna put 50. Weekend fun, I wanna put at least 50 per weekend. What's left? One, two, three weekends. Yeah, let's put 150 for the weekends. Dining out also, I wanna put at least 150, like $50 a week for the next three weeks. Hold on. Stunkin, I have to go to work more. When I have to go to work, your girl need coffee, okay? Um, I was orienting someone to the floor and she was like, <laughs> she was like, uh, they put her with me and they're like, oh, go with Salisa, she's great, da, 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 da. And she came and I, I had not had my mood stabilizer. It was like 7 a.m., my first day back from being in Mexico, and they come put me with somebody. I'm like, come on, y'all. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but I wasn't being mean or anything, but I just was not my chipper self. I was not. And I told her, I said, um, let me go to Starbucks and get a coffee real quick or whatever. So she was with me for about maybe 30 minutes before I said that. And she was quiet. I was quiet. And she said later in the day after I got my coffee and I got my moon stabilizer, I started being all chipper and bubbly and outgoing. And she goes, you're an extrovert. And I said, I think I'm an ambivert because I really could be by myself in the house or go to lunch by myself. I, you know, I could be by myself, but I also could be outgoing. So I told her, I think I'm an ambivert or an omnivert or something like one of those kind, like a blend of the two. 
And anyway, she said, um, no, you're definitely an extrovert. And she's like, she's like, I'm an introvert. She said, and I was thinking this morning when I first started with you, this is about to be a long shift. <laughs> she said, because I wasn't talking and she wasn't talking. She was like, this is about to be a long shift. She said, I don't know about her. She don't even want to talk. Why they put me with her? <laughs> I said, girl, I'm so sorry. I had just got back from Mexico and don't have no coffee. Baby, we got to juice up the stunkin'. Hold on. Now, let me just think this through. I'm trying to do at least two to three shifts per week. <laughs> two is what I must do, but I've decided I might add some extra shifts in there because it's at my leisure and there is almost $20 more an hour for all the extra shifts I add above two. So, um, on top of my base pay. So, y'all, that's how you roll the dough. All right, so <laughs> I'm thinking... Um, I need, and my coffees are only like $4. So let's do four times 12. Okay. No, four times 12. Four times three, which is 12 times three weeks. That's 36, 40. Let's just put a straight 50. This is the juice I need to make the dough. You feel me? <laughs> and then nails slash you guys. Oh my gosh. I forgot. There's so much. I feel like I haven't talked to my family in a long time. Anyway, my nails um, at the hospital, and since I'm going more often, you're not supposed to have nails. And so I had told the manager when I had longer nails, I said, oh, I I'm going to cut them down and um, I'm going to take it off. He said, you can't have, you can't have SNS, you can't have gel, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, come on, folks. Come on, fam. So anyway, um, I cut them down and had them painted blue, but they were still, you know, rather long. They're not supposed to be more than a quarter inch in the back. So these are, these are pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, and so, um, when I got back from Mexico, I cracked the nail in Mexico zip line. So with that being said, I was like, should I go get my nails done? I said, you know, I'm not even supposed to have them at the hospital and I've already been two days. Right. So I said today, just today, I took all the gel polish off my nails, cut them down to the bare bones and glued some little mini press on nails and did all that for $10. Okay. So we don't need any nail money because <laughs> I don't think I can go get my nails done. I'm going to have to take these press ons off when I go back to work, I think. I'm gonna try to skate in there, but if somebody come in there from infectious disease, I'm gonna pop them suckers off real quick while they're standing right there. I go in the bathroom, pop them off. All right, $895 for the total of the cash envelopes. Next, we need to work with sinking funds. Let me see what I did last time. And I'm gonna carry over all the categories and then we'll come back and talk about it. For Janae, we're going to give her 200 Um, And yeah, her birthday is right here. So yeah, we she going to get some money this month from a lot of people. So she ought not need this whole 200 But I already know how she operates. Okay, and then Jace and myself, I'm going to do the same 50 because we don't need much. Even though our folders are empty because what we had in there, we took with us and went on a little adventure. Um, household, I'm going to put 100 Car, I'll put 100 Birthdays. I'm not putting anything in travel because I'm going to start that new binder I showed you guys for travel. So birthdays, I'm going to put a 50. We already took the money out of the birthday folder to deal with Janae's birthday. So I'm just going to put 50 to start it back up for Jace's birthday, not until August. Um, medical, I'm going to put 200 because I do have some copays I need to pay in regards to my infusions that I found out about. Um, Gingy, I'm going to put... Uh, let's put a hundred for them. Why not? Clothing. Um, me and Jace bought clothing while we were in Mexico. Like super cool. They had a mall down there and we went to H&M and some American stores and got him some clothes. But I'm going to put a hundred in there to re-up some of that because Janae will be coming for me next. Beauty. Um, I'll put a hundred. Groceries. I'll put 200. Uh, Life Happens. I will put 100. HOA, we'll put our regular 30 and glasses 30 and giving, I'm going to put, uh, let's leave that open, open for interpretation. So that's what we have so far. I'm going to, oh, that's what we have so far. So I'm going to add that up without the giving involved and see where I'm at. So I can see what I need to be working towards. 200, 100, 100, 100, 200, 100, 30, 30. 1410. Is that right? Let's try again. 
Yeah, 1410. We can't get the wrong number twice. I don't think so. Okay, so 1410. Let me put that up here. And I'll say without giving. So we could figure that out. But that at least will give me a game plan. And then for savings challenges, I'm not going to calculate that yet either because I don't know what my income all is going to work out to be. But I'm going to try to make sure I hit all these, make sure I hit all my cash envelopes, of course, pay all my bills, and then we'll see what we have left over to do savings challenges. It ought to be good because that whole health insurance thing is out the way. Okay, so savings challenges plus my nursing income is going up quite substantially. This month, it'll only be one check that's up. But next month, I mean, we about to roll in the dough for a minute. Okay, savings challenges is a no. What else? Um, emergency fund. And let's put some towards debt tracker, which is going to be home rentals again that I haven't done in a quite some time. And I also want to do some in um, retirement. Now, I did sign up for retirement now that I'm part time. I can get 401k. So I signed up for the max contribution um, to get no, not the max contribution. That's not true. I signed up for the contribution to get the max match. OK, at my job. So retirement is some already going to 401k, but I will put some over in a cash envelope. And if I can invest more at the end of the year, then I'll throw it over in there. All right. So or change my adjustments, you know, change my my um, contributions towards the end of the year. All right. So I think that is everything. Whoa. I don't even know the full number, but I do know if I just needed enough to pay my bills, 1916 plus 895 plus 1410. That's 4221. I'm sure I'll have that because that's pretty much my book sales, YouTube, and the Etsy and nursing I've already gotten. And that doesn't include the rest of the money that I'll be getting from Etsy the rest of the month, as well as my second nursing pay, which should be pretty substantial. So yeah, I think that is everything for this budget video, you guys. Let's see. What I'm going to do next, oh, and then we will be working on this definitely as part of our savings challenges. I did want to show you the other savings challenge that I will be working on as well. I do have a free savings challenge that will be coming up in my very next video. So please be here so you could be a part of it because we're going to be doing something really fun amongst several channels and I want you guys to be a part of it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But let's go to these. These boys, I'm going to be adding these in for this month. This is a total of $400 plus on the smaller one, you will either scratch five or 15. I mean, say five or 15 if you hit the cookie and coffee under one of these dots. And this one is worth 350 and you would save either 45 or 75 if you hit the chicken, fried chicken, which just sounds delicious. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we already finished the money for the pig. So, and I did not reallocate it yet. Um, so I'm going to put these in here. Actually, I'll put the smaller one and then the bigger one. Yeah, I'll do that. So these will be in my binder and I'll be using these as scratch offs. I also want to work on this um, scratcher that I have from Celinthia and Cassie J. Um, SNC Creations, I think it is. I'll try to link them um, below so you guys can find this. Or actually, I'll put their, their Etsy store name on the screen. So if you guys are interested. But they're pretty high numbers. So for mine, they have a high and a low version. I asked for the high version so I could be about saving some dough. So I'm going to be working on that as well. And then like I said, there's a really fun challenge in my next video that's for all income types. And um, it's going to be one that we'll do as a community together. I'm super excited. And there's some other channels as well as subscribers that are participating. So come back next video so you can get a copy of that free challenge that we're going to be doing all together. I'm going to add some footage clips from Instagram of my trip to Mexico and put it over there. Um, but they were Instagram posts. I really didn't film too, too much. I started to vlog when I left, but once we got there, like I said, we were literally backpacking and just taking our time, moving slow, watching movies, popping popcorn. I'm like, if I got to set up a shot every time, doesn't it take away from like the whole feel of just the him and me time that I was trying to connect and have with my son. So I didn't want to film. I started it when we first went to take off, but then I was like, nah. 
nah, this is just about me and him. So I did film some little bursts of things for stories over on Instagram, and I'll put a collage of those at the end of this video. But if you don't want to watch those, then this is where the video ends. I want to thank every single one of you guys for being patient with me and allowing me the time to like connect with my son, you know what I'm saying? And really have a little getaway. Um, I know people come and go on YouTube all the time and, you know, we'll be here one day and then gone the next. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. But, um, sometimes you just want to take a little break and have the time that you want with your kids and your family and make those connections and not let them feel forgotten either. And I appreciate you guys for sticking with me while I took the time to do that for him. Um, especially since it's just him and I right now, you know, my daughter's in college. It seems like we don't always have the time to connect. He's going into his teenage years. If you guys know about teenagers, they hide in their rooms and you don't ever see them. So I thought, let me get this one last trip in with him while it's spring break before everybody else comes to do a travels in the summer. And it's just him and I, my daughter was on spring break in the month of March, so she couldn't go anyway. She had classes and it really worked out. And he's a go with the flow type kid. So our vibe was 100% on point and on the same like, you know, wavelength. So it was really, really fun. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video because I want you guys to get a copy of that free savings challenge and I'll explain how it's all gonna work next video. Also like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need that free savings challenge, who might wanna see how I set up the budget for the month even though it's not complete. And then we'll be chipping off of it and working through it all month long. Um, and finally, share this video with someone if you think they would enjoy. All right, I think that's everything. Let's get into the Mexico footage and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. as hell out here okay your girl was looking for summer and she found it she found it it's over here in Mexico okay no jackets required we about to hit the beach first thing this morning because at one o'clock I think it's gonna be like 90 something degrees it's hot it's hot out here um, I'm gonna show you guys my Airbnb real quick it's basic but it's cute it's cute enough for government work um, and it's right off of the area we need to be right near the beach right near the main drag like you know all that there's a whole nother story about getting ripped off at the main drag but we'll talk about that another time we'll talk about that another time all right um let me show you guys now okay you guys so this is uh the entry when you come in it looks like this jace is eating his breakfast acai bowls i found uh this is a little kitchen area very cute little mini fridge stove the basics y'all know i went and got me some local coffee microwave okay across from the kitchen area is a bathroom hey girl hey um the bathroom pretty basic um but cute enough 
And then there's like this little sitting area. This does let out into a bed, but we don't need it. Me and Jace are just sharing the same bed. There's a little eat-in kitchen area where he's eating. Disregard him because he just woke up and I'm sure he's like, why are you putting me on film? Um, then this divider wall and then the king size bed is here. This is closet, closet, TV with cable and internet. And then we have a patio out here. Yeah. So we literally crashed last night. We got here and it was so hot. Oh my God. And there's so much walking around here and we were walking, walking. I think I got to 12,000 steps. My phone said 8,900, but it died in the middle of my uh, exploring. We went shopping for some clothes at the local mall or whatever. And y'all, I think I got to like 12,000 steps by the time all that was over. And we was only here half a day. I can only imagine today what it's gonna add up to. But anyway, um, today we're gonna go down to the beach. So when we go down there, I'll show you. But when I say I got ripped off, nobody tried to be like shady with me. It's just when you're in the touristy areas, they like hike the prices up. So you gotta be smart. And those conversions, y'all know I'm not a mathematician. I don't have Mr. Calculator. So those conversions will be messing me up. You understand? Like, I don't know how much a peso to a dollar off the top of my head. I just be spinning and then I don't know. Okay, you guys, we made it to the beach. I'm gonna show you the beach and the waves. It's so pretty out here. to the beach down that walkway. We're actually leaving the beach, so we're walking back this way so we can go back to our room. But this is like a little creek. It's really like green and lush, and then there's a restaurant right here. It's pretty here. We decided to come up to the rooftop pool just to check it out. We're the only ones out here, you guys. They're doing construction right there. And then the beach is like right there. And let me see if I can show you guys the main drag. Let me see. We've been out here swimming. Let me see. The main drag is like right here. So you just walk up this little bit of half block and you're on the main drag. That cost me $5,000. That's why I changed into pesos. I ain't got time to be playing with these people. I was there yesterday. Coffee was good, but I got something else planned for today. Y'all, I got my coffee. Starbucks for the win today. I'm going back to the room, and then we're gonna get started with some other stuff later but coffee is done. We're walking to get us some tacos, you guys. This time I'll remember to show you. It's like an eight minute walk from our place, so it's not too bad. You gotta get around all the foliage. But um, I'll show you the tacos in a minute. Tacos, these are pastor. This is car carne asada. That's costilla, which is beef rib. And this one is queso con cheese and mushroom, y'all. Okay, you guys, we killed that. I am going to make some mushroom and cheese tacos at home now. Would you? Cause I wouldn't. I'm, I can't believe I'm even touching it, honestly. I heard they're salty and they do have excess sodium and excess calories. Grasshopper. <laughs>
Okay, so this is what we got from the street vendor. Um, we got some rotisserie chicken. It's a half a chicken, it's in this bag. I just didn't wanna pull it all out. They gave us some little baby potatoes. I didn't even know this came with it. Um, it also came with four of these rolled chicken taquitos. I already ate one, smashed it, that's just so good. Um, and then some salsa, some Spanish rice, and some corn tortillas. And that's it. We're gonna make some dinner out of that. Okay, y'all, these roll tacos is the business. The chicken, the reason why we stopped was because the chicken was so, like, aromatic. I'm like, that chicken tastes so good. Y'all, if I'm sweaty, it's just because we swam and I took a shower. But anyway, I was like, that chicken smells so good. I told Jace, let's get some. But we were already on our way to get those, I forgot what they're called. Marquesitas or something? I don't know, whatever. The things that have the Nutella in the middle. It's like a crispy crepe with Nutella and strawberry we both got. So anyway, I went, we were on our way across the street to get that, but we smelled that chicken. I was like, oh, let's just get that chicken for, dis for dinner and we'll just take it back to the room. That chicken is seasoned so well. Publix ain't got nothing on the street vendors in Mexico. Um, this taquito is good too. And they gave us four of these for nothing. And I think they had a four pack for eight pesos. I should have got four more. You can only do so much in one night though, right? There's always tomorrow. All right, y'all, good night. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Today he decided to get on a bus and go try some adventures. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it with a um, pretty well-known company here, so hopefully it works out. But I'll bring you guys some video clips later this afternoon to show you along the way. I also have my phone in this waterproof case. So if the video is going to be a little fuzzy, I gotta protect my goods, y'all. I gotta protect my goods. Anyway, we're on the bus. We should be taking off in a little bit. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Why does the ghost look like that? It's kind of spooky. Where's the locker room? Is this the right way? <laughs> oh wait, caves and cenotes. Can't break those salakite. What are they called? Hey guys. <laughs> we were lost in there for a minute, but we figured it out. We're supposed to keep going, then we hit the then we hit the daylight to get to the lockers and the showers. <sighs> it's about to be an adventure. What is this? That's a face. Right here. Is there a face on this thing? No. What did you do? You activated <laughs> the dual charge of the secret eye. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> you 
activated something. Leave it alone. I pressed it and your I told Jason Dragon's coming to get him because he keep playing games with me. He keeps saying he see fish, which he is, he does because there are fish in here, but I don't want to point them out. He points out every single one to me that he sees, including the big ones. And I got to swim side by side like we're out in the ocean. Stop playing with him, yo. Right here is a lifesaver. This little thing costs 100 pesos, aka seven dollars, and it's keeping my phone out the water. Let me show y'all where we eat now. Convinced Jay that it was a good idea for us to lay in the hammock for a little while. Ah, just need a little break, y'all. I really could catch a nap right here. It's so pretty. The water sounds, the trees. Oh no, here he comes. Visitor came to my hammock. Mira. You see him? He's big. There you go. Yeah, show your face. Show your face, guy. There you go. He showed up right next to my hammock. Does that mean something like good luck? to walk up here and get me some coffee from Starbucks um, we're having a kind of a late start today after our adventurous ayer and um, <laughs> I'm going to get some coffee and I might get a toasted sandwich but I know we're supposed to go to brunch at this brunch place that doesn't close until 3 thank God look how pretty anyway I will bring you guys along if we do something fantastic on our last day here 